guess what today is, you guys? Today is jewelry day. Today we are going to be opening a Goodwill blue box, which I am thrilled about, y'all, because my last Goodwill blue box was awesome. I got Tory Burch, I got diamonds, and I got a ton of fun pieces. If you happen to miss that unboxing, I will make sure to link it above, so go check that out. That box was from Ohio, and this box is also from Ohio. I don't think I ordered them in the same restock, but I'm hoping that I will have good luck with this box as well. So speaking of good luck, let's talk for a minute because I feel like I've had a lot of good luck with jewelry lately, you guys. I had a streak for a while where every box I was opening had gold in it. I mean, I can't complain about having the Midas touch, y'all. And then after that, I had that amazing streak with James Avery and that native sterling that was in that amazing Goodwill jewelry jar. If you happen to miss that, I'll link that one above as well. I don't know that I will ever get a Goodwill jewelry jar as awesome as that one was, but I'm certainly going to try because I have a lot of them, y'all. So if you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification because I will be bringing more of those real Goodwill jewelry jar unboxings to you. Now, my latest streak has been Moonstones, y'all. My Thread Up 5 pounds DIY box that I did last, I'll link that one above too, uh, had a beautiful pair of Sterling Moonstone earrings in it. And then my last Thread Up mix box that I just opened, I'll link that one above in case you haven't watched it, had some Vermeil Moonstone earrings in it. I love Moonstones, and so I thought today it's only fitting that I wear some Moonstones hopefully for good luck. <laughs> so I have a beautiful pair of sterling moonstone earrings and look how gorgeous these are. I picked these up in a whatnot auction and I am in love. I also paired that with this beautiful moonstone ring. I can't remember where I picked this one up, you guys, <laughs> but I love it. And then I have on a couple stretchies that I got at my local thrift, which you guys know is amazing with their jewelry. I don't know that these are moonstones, but they give me that vibe and it had some lavender beads in it to kind of tie in with my dress. And y'all, this is a thrifted dress. This is a Bagley Mishka dress uh, that got at Style Encore when they were having their 90% off. I want to say like I paid two bucks for it or something crazy like that. <laughs> Anyways, I love it. And then on this wrist, I have a moonstone bracelet. This I got from Steven over at Sugar Vision. But what I really want to talk about is this ring, you guys. This ring I picked up at my local Goodwill. And that is the Goodwill where I've been getting all of those amazing jewelry jars. They, the day that I got those James Avery rings, and that amazing jewelry jar that I'm talking about, I found this ring. But I didn't just find this ring, which is marked Sterling and Mexico. I found about seven or eight others that are in very similar settings that are marked the same. And they're all different gemstones, y'all. There are a couple different colors of purple. There are a couple different colors of blue. There was a green one, a black one. I bought all of them, y'all. <laughs> and at my Goodwill, they don't let you, the jewelry that's in the trays, they are bagged and taped. They don't let you open them to try them on. So that day I picked up two James Avery rings that were in the tray along with all of these sterling Mexico rings with these amazing stones in them. So I probably bought, like I said, about eight or so of these, but I couldn't leave them behind. Look how gorgeous it is. And I have them, luckily they fit me <laughs> or I would have been in trouble. I would have been selling all of them. Um, luckily they fit. And so I kept most of them and the ones I didn't keep, I sent to my friend. So we have the entire collection between the two of us. I'm hoping that the luck that I had that day will follow us into today's unboxing. Okay, let's get the box open and see what's inside of here, y'all. 
Uh, this one, like I said, is from Ohio. I'm not exactly sure when I ordered it. It's been in my stash for a minute. And I'm going to open it and then kind of show you what's inside the box. And then I will point the camera down and we will unbox the jewelry together. Every single time I'm doing an unboxing here, because I'm staying here at my mom's house, I am like, oh, I really need to bring my box cutter. <laughs> and I keep forgetting. So we're opening this with the scissors again. It's a little um, awkward, but it's okay. We'll get it open. I can do it. All right, that last little bit was tough. All right, so here we go. You guys are getting the first pink with me, okay? Hopefully it doesn't all fall out when I open it. <laughs> and we did open it from the bottom because my address is on the top. And let's see. All right, it looks like we have some bangles, some fashion jewelry, whatever this is, looks really fun. And some other stretch bracelets maybe some seed beads. This one looks like a fun one. I'm excited to get into this. I'm going to point the camera down. We will go through it together. If you see any pieces in this box that you're interested in purchasing, I do sell directly from my videos. You just have to send me an email to stinaresells at gmail.com. I invoice through PayPal and I do $5 shipping on jewelry. So if there's something that you want in the box, just let me know and it's yours. All right. Let's get into this one. Here's a close up peek of the box. Again, I see these seed beads, maybe some gold tone bangles. This is really pretty. There might be something with a mark down in here. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I love that. We'll have to look at that a little closer. We've got a watch with safety pins. I don't know, we'll have to look at that too. And I think this looks really fun. So I'm going to put the box to the side. I'm going to grab a handful and we are going to get started. All right, let's get the first handful and let's hope for some good stuff, you guys. Okay, we should expect some tangles. And I won't be showing earrings probably until the end just to see if we get any matches. I feel like the blue boxes are pretty notorious for having a bunch of single earrings. So here to start off with our first single. <laughs> Hopefully we get a match to some of these. So as I come across some of these single earrings, um, I will just move them to the side and we will take a closer look at them later. Oh, that one's really pretty. All right, so it looks like we have, oh, I love, oh, that feels like a stone. <gasps> Oh, I love this. It's stuck, so we'll come back to that one. All right, here's our first little pack of jewelry here. All right, let's start with this bangle. Well, we've got some vertigree on this. It does say made in India in the back here. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you guys. There's a little sticker that says made in India. This is really, really pretty. Uh, but you know, because of the verdigree, I'm going to put this in craft for a dollar. So if there is something that you want to order, please just send me an email, like I said, to stinaresells at gmail.com. If you could also include a timestamp that's very helpful in these bulk unboxings, and then also a brief description of the item and the price. That really helps me out. So made in India, bangle, this is going to be in craft for a dollar. Hopefully that didn't pass like a bunch of vertigree to the rest of the jewelry. Ooh, this, this looks nice. What is this? Is this a necklace or a bracelet? I'm not sure. It says, Keat? Hmm, interesting. Let's see if it's magnetic. And then I may just set this to the side too. It's not magnetic. I may have to set this to the side to untangle. I do see a mark. Let me take a closer look at that. Well, we have our first piece of sterling, y'all. 
I'm going to go ahead and untangle this and we'll take a closer look at it. There we go. <laughs> I got it untangled, y'all. This is so beautiful and we will test this at the end, but you have a double layer chain with little pearls at the end and then you have kind of this infinity sign and then you have four little letters, a K and E and A and a T. So you could take this off, the little letters, they're not soldered on, and just wear it as an infinity bracelet, like that. So I will give you guys a measurement on this one. It's back, y'all, <laughs> with my initials and nice and shiny. Let's get it dirty, you guys. We're gonna mess this thing up today. My Tiffany tape measure. Okay, so this is about a six and a quarter. Um, wait, is that right? That seems really short. Yeah, six and a quarter, and then it's got about a quarter inch extender. Why did I feel like that went around my wrist? Because I have about a seven inch wrist. I can just get this on. Maybe I have a smaller wrist than I thought. Um, I can just get this on with the use of the full extender. But that's beautiful. So we will um, test this at the end. Yay! Sterling right off the, the bat. I'll just give you guys a little look at that before it gets dirty. <laughs> Next up, we have a magnetic bracelet, faux leather, little straps here and different metallics. If anyone is interested in this one, we're going to put this in craft for a dollar because there's a lot of scratches here on the uh, magnetic clasp. We've got a little flower earring. What's who are you? Looks like we have a broken chain, but this feels like sterling in my hands, y'all. Let's see. The it is marked something. Let me see what it's marked. Okay, this is marked 925 here, and it's also marked 925 on the spring ring clasp. So this one is broken. Uh, we will test this, but I will be adding this to my scrap sterling. So wow, two things of sterling, I'm so excited. Ooh, who are you? What does that say, Bell Belcaz? Haiti, so maybe this is like a souvenir stretch how cool is that these feel like maybe ceramic i'm not sure but if anyone's interested in this stretchy we'll just do this one for a dollar oh we have this is so sweet we have a gold tone cuff and it's got this little cameo on the top little rhinestones around i love this one i don't See any markings or anything on it but or wait no wait there is a marking I think right here you guys this is marked Coro oh how exciting is that oh I love um, Coro pieces and there's certain vintage brands that I, I really enjoy so I'll do a Google lens on this one and I will put a price on the screen there are a little couple like some bends here where somebody is Bent it a little bit to get on and off the wrist. But overall, I mean, there's not really a lot of color loss on the metal, which I'm surprised. This is awesome. Yay. All right, I'll put that in the research pile. We have a cream ribbon necklace, which is very dirty. No marks with these faux pearl beads. A dollar. <gasps> Oh, no. Why are you missing rhinestones? Oh, that's so sad. I love butterfly jewelry, you guys. And this one is marked OMG. Let's see if you guys can get a close-up look at that. I think that it says Jerry's, but I may have to look in a different light. It's so shiny, it's blinding me. But you guys, look how beautiful this is. It's missing a few little rhinestones, so that makes me... 
that makes me kind of sad <laughs> but this is beautiful so we'll put this butterfly in craft for a dollar oh okay another single earring okay we have a stretch watch um excuse me why are you full of safety pins who did this to you maybe somebody was trying to repurpose the watch I don't know why am I even working on this um, this is says by Hugo so this is stainless steel back by Hugo and so I'm assuming it is maybe like Hugo Boss um, Japan movement it is not ticking I don't know who put this string through here and all of these um, safety pins which by the way in one of my last videos, instead of saying safety pins, I said paper clips. <laughs> you guys let me know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put this in craft for a dollar. I don't know if that's working. Here's this beautiful seed bead necklace. Gorgeous blues. You have a couple different color blues. This is an excellent condition. Oh, I love this. Let me measure this because this is definitely wearable. It's not craft. I don't see a maker's mark or anything on this. Let's see. But we have a 17 inch with a three inch extender. So if anyone is interested in this gorgeous thing, let's do this one for $3. That is awesome. I love that one great condition got a little bangle here I might put these little thin bangles to the side and see how many we get and then do a lot of them at the end what are you the side stuck on my finger oh you're an earring oh you're pretty all right lots of pretty earrings hoping we get some matches it's a velvet tie I'm not going to charge for that if somebody wants it just let me know We've got a stretchy here. The stretch is kind of coming out, but look how pretty these purple faceted beads are. That'll go into craft for a dollar. Um, hello, this is so interesting. Okay, let's see if we can get her untangled. Got some earrings stuck in here and like another necklace. Okay, there we go. Got that one undone. This is so cool. <laughs> Who made you? You are so cool. Uh, this is awesome. You've got these little, I don't know if they're wood. Maybe someone decoupage these. Or is this washi tape? I don't know. Guys, somebody handmade this. This is so cool. You've got this skull on the top, a couple skulls here, these dangles down here with, I mean, like a twine. This is awesome. Um, two bucks. How cool. That's fun. Um, ew. Craft a dollar. Is this sterling? Oh, I feel like this is sterling. But we'll put that with the single earrings. We've got a stretch. I'm trying to figure out if I like the stretch on this or not. Not sure about this. Um, this feels like it could be stones. Should we put the Presidium on this and just see what it says? I went ahead and calibrated it just to be safe. <laughs> okay, let's see what the Presidium says. Oh, it is going up into the Jadeite Spinel line on that one. So maybe this is a jade. Let's put it on this one. Same line. And let's do one of these darker ones. Yeah, they're all going into that Jadeite Spinel line. So we'll put the Presidium back out of the way. Hopefully we will need her again. The stretch on this is okay. Um, it is knotted in between each of these stones. I really like this. It might just need a little bit of a wipe down, but the stones are really nice on this one, you guys. I, I'm, I love that one. Okay, single earring, earring. 
We've got a necklace here. This one is like a copper. This is really pretty. Oh, I love this little charm dangle at the bottom. It reminds me of 1928 or something like that. Does have a hang tag. And this one is Claire's. Very cute. Love this one. You've got little flowers, this AB faceted bead, and this little heart and a little leaf. If anyone's interested in this one, let's just say two bucks on this one. That's really sweet. I like that one a lot. All right, let's see what else we've got. We have an adjustable bracelet here. This reminds me of Pura Vida. Yes, it is Pura Vida here. Mm -hmm. So we have a little pull here. And then this is actually in pretty good condition, just very light scratching on this. So let's do the Pura Vida adjustable for three bucks. Nice and in good condition. <gasps> is this sterling as well? Oh, this feels like sterling. That's what it feels like. A bracelet. Okay, let me look at it with the loop and see exactly what it says. It looks like we could have more sterling, you guys. This is marked 925 Italy, like all over the place. Here and then over here on this other end. And then there is a maker's mark that I can't really tell what it is right here. So this one we will measure real quickly and then we will test it at the end. It says Italy really big right there. And this is a seven inch. <gasps> Gorgeous. I guess we can put the magnet on it just to be safe, right? I don't know. It seems like maybe it could be a little magnetic. I'm not sure. Or is that just the way that it's braided? We'll test it and we will find out. Uh, awesome. More sterling potentially. All right, we've got a, oh, here's this really pretty bracelet. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, we're missing one of the little pictures. I love this bracelet. It's like a little story bracelet. Missing part of the story. This is so sweet. I don't know. And the clasp is broken too. Oh, that's so sad. I think it's so awesome. We'll put this one into craft for a dollar. Hopefully we'll find the other little picture in there. Maybe I'll leave it out instead of putting it in the craft bucket, just in case we find the little picture. All right, I'm trying to be hopeful because I really like that one. We have a dream catcher that is caught. Put that with the earrings. Bracelet. Ooh, we have a little wrap bracelet here. This is cool. This seems really nice. Let's see if we have any markings. It's like half of it is metal and the other half are these beads and then this waxed cord and then this little hammered disc that hangs down. I mean, it looks like, I don't know if that's a mark or if that's supposed to be part of the hammered look. So maybe I will Google lens this one. I think that this might just be able to polish up a little bit. Maybe with a good wipe down. I don't know. I'll do a Google lens and I'll put a price on the screen for that. Add that to my little research pile. We have a tassel necklace. See, this one is marked. It, it does have a little knot in it. This one says loft. Uh, it does have a little knot in the chain, which is not a super big deal. And some of the tassel is also knotted up. It doesn't look like it's a huge deal. If anyone is interested in the really, really pretty, in good condition, except for the little knot, um, tassel silver tone loft necklace, with these little faceted beads throughout y'all little stations. We'll just say three bucks for this one. I love that. Okay, let's see, single earring. Oh, look at you. Oh, really pretty brooch. I was just at the thrift store today, you guys, because you have a problem, and they had some gorgeous brooch brooches at the thrift store today. This is a gold tone zebra. I don't see any markings on him, but we can do him for three bucks. 
He's sweet. I may Google lens him as well, see if I can find the info on him. Love that. Okay, let's pull another handful out of here. Let's see what comes to us. My mom put the most gorgeous tablecloth on her dining room table for me to film. And I, and I do have my mat down to protect her tablecloth, but I feel like I'm making like a big mess. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleanup before she comes home. <laughs> okay, still a little tangled. Here we go. All right, here's our next little handful of things. We've got some more earrings. We have a suede bracelet with a gold tone starfish dangle. That's sweet. We'll just say, it's not craft, but we'll just say a dollar on this one. It's in good shape. Oh, we have a little cameo fashion adjustable ring. No marks or anything like that. It is a little bent, so you would have to reshape it to your finger. We'll just say a dollar on that one as well. This bangle's awesome. Ooh, look at that design. I don't see any marks on the inside. This is a really cool, it's not enamel. I don't know what this is. I don't know, like a brass on the inside or something. Not sure. We will just say $2 on this one. Oh, that's really interesting. Ooh, feels like we have another stone stretch. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Could be in trouble with that. <laughs> Some trash. All right, let's move on to this one. We'll come back. <laughs> OMG. Oh boy. <laughs> I think this tangled looks looks like it could be dangerous. All right. <laughs> Oh, another watch. This one says Geneva Quartz. Not working. The back of the watch also says Geneva, Japan Movement Water Resistance. Not sure if this is working or not. I'm trying to check. It looks overall like it's in pretty decent shape in a gunmetal. Is that a scratch? Hmm. Looks like there's maybe a little bit of cloudiness or fogginess here um, under the face. So we'll just do this one in craft for a dollar. Mm, I was hoping that was in better condition. That was really pretty. Okay, we have a sun necklace or belt. Hmm. I feel like this could be a belt. Let's measure it. Faux pearl, gold tone. It's got a large hook. Yeah, this is a belt. So let's see. The smallest this belt can be is a 30 inch waist. And then it's got a seven inch extender on it. So anywhere between like a 30 to 37 inch waist, we will say three bucks on this faux pearl belt. Get a lot of belts in my fun boxes. They tend to do pretty well. Okay, this looks like it's in good shape, but the stretch is not. It's got these textured gold tone discs. So maybe somebody could restring these or use these discs for something else. We'll say a dollar. We've got a kid's little stretch bracelet, a dollar. Not in great shape with that stretch. Okay, what's happening here? Why are you in plastic? Um, oh, okay, we have a stretchy, oh, it's like a purple stretch, little silver beads around it, a dollar, I'll add that to my trash pile, all right, we've got a bracelet, this bracelet just came right out, it was so tangled earlier, <laughs> we have silver tone, see if we see anything on the clasp. But no, but there is a mark in here. Oh, this is Elsie. Okay, y'all. Is that Liz Claiborne or Lauren Conrad? I always forget which one's which. Um, one of the two. Let's make sure all of these are here. This is really pretty. 
So you have these like yellow little ovals and then underneath this yellow is like a filigree, like pattern underneath it. Really pretty. I love this one. Let's get a length. It's in great condition. Let's put it that way. Love, 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 love. Okay, a uh, seven inch. We'll say three bucks. It's either Liz Claiborne or Lauren Conrad. It's really pretty and it has a nice weight to it too. All right, we have another bracelet. These are a plastic and it's broken. So craft a dollar on that one. Oh no, that was a different one. This is the one that's all tangled. OMG. Oh my, excuse me. Check out this earring. <laughs> wow. This is wild, you guys. Okay. Um, how am I going to get all this out of here? Oh, geez. Is this an earring? Oh, we have a clippy. That's pretty. All right, we got this bracelet set out. It's connected by this chain. The chain says Jessica Simpson. So I'll just assume this is a Jessica Simpson bracelet bangle set, gold tone. You've got these really, oh, this one's not in good shape. Mm, a lot of these are peeling. We'll say a dollar in craft. There's one, two, three, four of these. Some of those are in good condition though. So you could take that chain off. Let's unclasp this. What are you? I don't know what this is. This looks like a corkscrew. <laughs> it's making me want a glass of wine. Don't worry, I won't drink while I'm unboxing. Interesting, not sure what that goes to. Maybe we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, I got this one loose. This one is a stretch. Also, I don't know, maybe a pale yellow. I don't see any marks on this one. The stretch seems really good. So, oh, it's a little bit of damage to this one right here. The prong set on that or whatever's holding that. Oh, no, wait, maybe one of the rhinestones came out. I feel like there's something wrong with this. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like one of the rhinestones is coming out. We'll say I craft a dollar on that one. Okay. This feels like stone. So, ooh, we get to use the Presidium again. OMG. OMG. So exciting. So exciting. Okay. Hello, Presidium. You get to do your job today and tell me that I don't know anything. All right, this one is going also to Jadeite and Spinel. These kind of remind me, listen, I am no stonologist, okay, you guys? I am just someone who loves jewelry, and I've tried to learn about it. This one's going up into Topaz. Um, so I'm no expert, okay? But I just love jewelry, and I love learning. Some of these kind of remind me of, like, Adventurine, but we are going up to the Jadeite Spinel line and then also the Topaz line. So once again, the Presidium tells me I don't know anything. <laughs> okay. Stretch is really good on this. We will say three bucks on this one. Love this one. I'm going to put that with the other stone one. This feels like a stone too, but we got to get to it, you guys. We've got to get this earring out of here. I mean, are we going to get the match to this major earring? I hope so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make y'all a deal. If we get the match this earring, I'm going to wear these earrings in a future unboxing. Okay? <laughs> I love hard jewelry, and I have never, have I ever, worn a hoop this big. Okay? So I'm going to put this one to the side, and we'll see if I'm challenging myself to do something dumb on camera. <laughs> okay, so we have two... Oh, maybe we've got more than two necklaces here. All right, well, let's start with this beauty that I've just been dying to get to. We do have a hang tag. This one is a loft. It does feel like a stone. Gorgeous chain on this. I love this. This reminds me of like a rose quartz. Oh, hello. Come back into frame here. All right, here we go. 
It is a stone. Why is everything going to jadeite spinel? I feel like this is quartz. Oh, dear. I mean, the quartz line is just right there. I don't know, you guys. Let's see. This one's going up into ruby sapphire. Oh, no, I may have to recalibrate this again. All right, one more time. We can do it. This one's going into a topaz. So IDK, I did calibrate it. <laughs> um, this They do feel like stones, though. Gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Okay, let's give you guys a length because somebody needs to wear this. It is beautiful. All right. This is a 32 inch. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. Um, let's say $5 on this one. This is beautiful. You've got three real stones here. And this loft chain is gorgeous and in great condition. This one is awesome. And I'm totally keeping that if nobody buys it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have going on here. It looks like we've got another necklace tangle. All right. We've got this one with like a green it's plastic stone. You've got some rhinestones here. Little links coming up to the chain. No maker's mark on this one. It looks kind of short, but it's in good condition. It does have an extender on it, which makes sense because it looks like it's pretty short. It's a 16 inch, and then it looks like maybe a two inch extender. So for this one, if anyone's interested in this one, we'll just say two bucks on that. That's in really good condition. All right, now we've got a little flip-flop. Really, really adorable with a flower. We've got, is there, is there something missing? Oh, there's something missing right there. Okay, let's check out the chain. Is this broken? Oh, well, the whole thing's broken. Okay, so this is missing a little, like, rhinestone here on the flip-flop, but that flip-flop is so cute. And then this part here needs to be reattached to the jump ring in this tiny dainty popcorn chain, a dollar. We've got, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this. We've got a gold tone bangle with these little plastic beads that are, does that have wear to it? Oh, some of them have wear where they're missing a little bit of their paint. So we'll just say craft a dollar on this one. I love this one. That one's really, really pretty. It's time for another handful already. I feel like this is going fast. This is probably the slowest video ever, but I feel like it's going fast because I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I hope you guys are having fun. Doing... Oh, this is sterling for sure. And a stone. OMG. We need the match to that. We've got a stretchy with not good stretch, little gold ball. Stretchy a dollar. Okay, we've got another. Oh, this is a cool earring. Hopefully, we get a match to that one. This is an earring. That one's beautiful. Oh, she believed she could, and so she did, y'all. Very cool cuff bracelet. This one does have a mark on the inside. What does that say? I think it's mantra band. Yes, this is mantra band. It's marked right here. If you guys can see that the light is shining right on it. Uh, mantra band is a great brand. Um, we'll say two bucks on this one. I like that one. I have a really nice mantra band chain actually. Except my mantra band chain doesn't have a, a, a mantra. Is that what I say? Mantra? It doesn't have a mantra on it. It's just the chain. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I need a mantra. <laughs> okay, we've got a wooden bangle and kind of a plum color with these really nice flowers etched into the side. There's a little bit of finish maybe missing off of this one, so we'll just say a dollar. 
We've got another bangle. We'll put this with little bangle lot there. And we've got a chain that's broken. This does not feel like sterling to me. Nope. I don't know anyone wants that for craft, but it's going in the craft bin. Earring. Oh dear. What, what's happening here? Oh, oh, this is magnetic. That's the problem. Fun. These are plastic blue faceted beads. You've got a pink and blue dragonfly at the bottom. I don't see a maker's mark. Some of these, they're in okay shape, but they're kind of scratched up. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna say a dollar on this one. That one's really cute though. All right, what are you? I have a little hang tag, what do you say? Oh, you're over here. <laughs> we have another Claire's, really cute. It needs a really good wipe down and it is silver tone. It is a wide drop with these little black beads in them. Because this one needs a good cleaning, I'm just gonna say a dollar on this, Claire's. That one's really pretty. Oh no. <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> I've challenged myself. I really didn't think we were gonna get the match to this. <laughs> All right, well, you'll be seeing this in an upcoming unboxing. I hope I have enough length between my ear and my shoulder. <laughs> I'll be wearing those. If someone's interested in purchasing them, just let me know. But I'll still wear them before I ship them out. I'll clean them. Oh. Oh, hello. You are gorgeous. We have a glass. Mm-hmm. We have an etched glass cameo. Gold tone, black rhinestones, Beautiful. This reminds me of like a Whiting and Davis that I picked up at my thrift, actually. This chain feels really nice. Let me see if there's any markings on it. I don't see any markings on this one. Let me do a length on this. This thing is gorgeous and it has some nice weight to it. I will do a Google lens on this to see. I mean, maybe it is a Whiting and Davis. This is a 16 inch. There is no extender. Of course, you could add your own extender. And I really don't see, I mean, this needs to be marked. I don't, I don't see a marking on it though. I'll Google Lens it and I'll have some more information and a price on the screen. But you can see, is that called intaglio where it's etched in the back? I don't know. Love, love, love that one. We're getting some cameos in here, you guys. All right, let's do whatever comes loose. <laughs> we have an earring. So let's get that out of there. Oh, we have another brooch. This is a, like a boat's steering wheel. <laughs> What's that called? Uh, does it have a name? I don't know. Anyways, it's like the steering wheel for a boat. And then you've got this little, I mean, you could use this as a pendant. Oh, goodness. Um, brooch. I don't see any markings. That one's really pretty. We'll just say two bucks on that one. Oh, look at this clip, you guys. That's major. We've got a Claire's anklet with an extender. We'll just do a dollar on that one. It's in good shape. Ooh, <gasps> you guys, this is the box of cameos. How amazing, y'all. I just got off of whatnot, the most amazing cameo. That's like a sh one of the shell cameos that's hanging off a couple strands of pearls, y'all. It is gorgeous. Okay, I don't see, did I mess up my nail? No, okay, it was just stuff from the unboxing. <laughs> um, this one's really pretty, but it does have a lot of scratching here on the top. 
it is just plastic. So on this one, because of the damage, we're gonna say a dollar. I'm loving that we're getting all these cameos. It's so fun. And I'll have to wear my pearl cameo um, necklace in a future unboxing. Oh, I love this earring with that flower. Got some really pretty earrings in here. I hope we get matches. I love how the only match we got was that huge heart hoop <laughs> that I said I would wear. <laughs> this is not marked and it is broken. It's missing some dangles here. So for the yellow one, we'll put that in craft. Um, what's happening here? Here we go. It's like, where's the clasp? This one is tangled. Not too badly. But we have a multi-layer necklace, silver tone. It's got one, two, three, four, five strands. No maker's mark. Dropping down, you've got all these different like oval links, some silver balls at all different lengths. So the longest length is a drop of 16. So really nice. We will do this one for two bucks and it needs just a touch of untangling there. Oh, hi. Oh. I love you so much. You're mine. <laughs> I'm keeping this. Oh, I really like this. Okay, we have, um, oh no, you're broken. <sighs> the clasp is broken. That's okay, I can fix it. I can fix you. You're too beautiful not to fix. We have, I love faceted beads for those of you who watch the channel. Um, we've got some black faceted beads, black balls, and these gold faceted ones. These are feel like they are glass. They are so nice. You have some rondelles. I'm gonna add this to my craft stash and I'm gonna fix this gorgeous thing up. So add that to my <laughs> heart hoop earrings that I'm gonna wear. Um, memory wire, like a yellow, yellowish orange cat's eye bracelet. Go on like this. We'll save two bucks on this one. All right, let's see. We have a gold tone necklace. It's got this really pretty drop here. Well, this is an excellent condition. Look at that. We'll just say $2 on that. And if there are some of these that I'm not giving links on, because I don't want to give links on everything, because the video will be like three hours long, um, just email me and I can measure something for you. If I did not um, give a measurement, this one's nice. This has some weight in my hand. These feel like plastic, but look how pretty these little like balls are. You have these oblong ones and then the circular one. This one's really nice. We'll do this one for two bucks. Mm, you're pretty too. Gold tone clasp. These are either, I'm thinking these are like a glass. Let's see. Yes, these are moving up into a glass. So if anyone is interested in this, look at the multicolor. This is really pretty. And because these are glass, it has some weight to it. Really nice. Um, if anyone's interested in this one, let's do this one for $3. I love that one. This is a great box, you guys. Okay, this is the last handful I'm gonna pull out. Oh, just dropped something. Um, until we dump the rest of the box, because we're almost done. You guys, I dropped something and I thought it went on my dress and I don't see, it. where did it go? It was probably like a golden diamond ring. <laughs> I don't have to look in a minute. Okay, we've got this stretch. It's gold tone. You've got these black faceted cabochons. I don't see a maker on this one. So the stretch is pretty good on this one. There's just a very light scratching on some of these. So we'll do this one for $2. It does have some weight to it. 
earring trash. Oh, um, excuse me. Sears. Do we have the key to Sears? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> What's happening? Um, do we have someone's keychain? Does this go to a treasure box? <gasps> what could this be? Sears Oak Brook. I don't know, but you guys, we have someone's key. Okay, this could be the key to everything. A dollar. You could have the key to everything for a dollar. Oh, we've got a bead. This is nice. Gold tone toggle clasp. It is, this is dirty. And all of these little balls have like, they're all peeling. So this is going to go into craft for a dollar. This one is a wooden stretch, but it's real stretched, y'all. Okay, a dollar. Hmm. This is a tiny little stretch. It's cool to the touch. Okay, what's up, Presidium? You're getting lots of action today. Seriously? <laughs> it's going up into Topaz. <laughs> Would have guessed the train on this. Oh, now that's going into Ruby Sapphire. Okay, I feel like um, we may have to like calibrate this again, even though I literally just did it. <sighs> okay, hold please. All right, let's try this again. I just recalibrated. Maybe it's because I was moving it around. You're really not supposed to be doing that. But I know you guys want to see. Well, it's still going up higher than the citrine line, so I don't know, y'all. It is going into the Jadeite Spinal line. It is maybe just right above the citrine line. This is why the person name is so confusing. And this one's going way up, like, into Topaz. So I don't know. We have this really cute stretch. It is something... The Presidium is telling you precisely what it could or could not be. <laughs> so we'll say three bucks on this one. I'm just going to quickly touch it to these again to see if, since I recalibrated, if it says anything different. Nope, that one says the same. And this one was going to the Jadeite Spinel before. Yeah, it's going to the same lines. So those, those were correct. Oh, and let's look at this. This is this one was going way up too. I love how I'm just retesting everything in the middle of the video. You know, professional and boxer here. Um, okay, so this one is now staying in the quartz line. So maybe that did help a little bit because this looks like a rose quartz to me. This one's going way up. I think before it was going to ruby sapphire. It's close, but it's going to topaz. And then this one is going up into the Topaz line as well. So I don't know if that helped, but there you have it. We have one of these seed necklace or bracelets. This one's a stretch, a dollar. It is new with a tag. I think this one's so pretty. It is not adjustable. I don't see a mark on it, but it's... Got this like faceted dome on the top and this really pretty flower print underneath. Just silver tone. Seven and a half. Two bucks. Nice. Another earring. What does this say? I renew. Okay. What do you renew? Stainless steel. I'm thinking that maybe this is like a company that did this and this is like a rubber stretch. I'm just doing this for a dollar if somebody wants that. These feel like glass. You've got a stretch. The stretch is not good on this, but let's just make sure it's glass. Yes, it is moving up into glass. So this will go into craft for a dollar. Maybe somebody can restring that or use those for something else. 
And this is what's left in our box, you guys. So I'm gonna dump this out carefully. <laughs> and let's see what else we have in here. I feel like I've gotten much better at unboxing these bulk boxes. Um, not that I'm like amazing or anything, I'm not saying that, but like they used to like completely wear me out and now they like energize me. It's really weird. Okay, let's make sure that everything is out. Yep. Okay, we did have some of these silver balls. If somebody wants these, I'm happy to like dig them out for you. They it looks like they came from this. Um, here, let me take these out. I'm gonna put these balls in this little baggie. If anybody wants the silver balls from this to restring or do something with, um, I'll just do these for a dollar. They feel really nice. They are, do you have some weight to them? If I find any more, I'll throw them in there. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, that's too bad. All right, we have these. How pretty. These are, why does that stick out like that? They both do that. Interesting. Okay, you've got a double hoop here with a rhinestone and then like a dangle bow with the rhinestone. I don't see any marks on these, but if anyone is interested in this pair, they're in excellent condition. We'll just do those for two bucks. Really nice. Oh, you're cute. Are you missing any rhinestones though? I don't think so. You're perfect. Oh my gosh, so sweet. We've got a big cat and this is on a stretch. These are plastic, clear faceted beads. I'm just gonna say a dollar for this one, y'all. Need, somebody needs to harvest this off the top. It's very sweet. We've got a cross. This is nice. Just some rhinestones. It looks like it's all there. I don't know what this went to. You certainly could feed something through here. It probably went to like a stretch. Maybe it was part of that stretch with the um, beads. I'll just say a dollar on that. All right, we have some gold tone hoops. They're still new in the bag. These are maybe like a one and a half inch. Oh my gosh, you guys, we should measure those hoops I have to wear. I love how I say I have to. I did it to myself. We'll just say a dollar on those. This is nice. This has some weight to it. Oh, this is cool. I think this is really neat. The stretch is still pretty good on this. We'll just say $2. You've got some blue, these are um, almost like a wood. You've got, let's see, this is wood. I don't know what this is. It's not a stone. And you've got some metal beads in here and this little metal um, showstopper right there. So two bucks. Earring. I love how I started this bangle lot over here and there's two. <laughs> And this is the end of the unboxing. <laughs> okay, this says G-O. Oh, what brand is this? Oh, I forgot what brand this is. This is a brand, <laughs> forgot the name of it. It's got the little key on the back. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen. So this is like a kid's um, rubber bracelet and you can add different charms to it not coming to me I'll have to put it on the screen obviously this said goal but I don't know where the, the a and the l are um we'll just say two bucks on that since it's missing some letters we oh hello oh that matches the um that other necklace I wonder if we'll get the match the stretch on this beauty is great love this let's see are all the rhinestones here they look like they are. I'm gonna go blind from looking at this though. It's so shiny and blingy. I love it. You've got these mirrored faceted beads. It looks like all of the rhinestones are there. Amazing. 
and this has some decent weight to it. We will say three bucks on that one. We've got this bracelet that's a stretch. Stretch is not good and it's missing that. We'll say a dollar. Don't know. Oh, this feels nice. Hmm. Okay, earring. Oh, how cute's that? Okay, earring. Look at that earring. That reminds me kind of the design of that moonstone earring that I got. You guys, we didn't get any moonstones yet. Um, am I ruining my streak already? I'm gonna have to start a new streak. I don't know what it is. Cameos? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, we've got this one. Stretches, not good on this. Craft a dollar. Mm, I like you. It's cool. Another bead. We did get the match to this earring. Okay, that's exciting. And then we did get a match to this one, I think. And there was another match that was in there that I didn't even talk about. So we'll um, I'll match these all at the end and we'll go over them together. More of these little balls. Ooh, this one looks promising. It's cool. Ooh, hair. Yuck. That went to that broken necklace. If you buy the necklace for the craft, I'll throw that in there. This is, is it supposed to look like that? I guess. Earring. Let me put that ball in here. We've got this bracelet. How does this work? it just go on there like that it does it just pops on there that's cool and you've got these faceted beads in like a brown and almost like an opalite color let's see what size this is it's a seven inch we'll just say two bucks on that one it's really pretty another earring Another earring, oh, earring. Here's a little pin, oh, that's cool. It's got a face on it and a little stone there. This one does have a mark on the back. Let's see what it says. This is marked right here. It does say Diegas and Clust, or Clust is what I think it says. And it does say 1 10 karat gold filled. So how cool is that? I will have to look this up. I have no idea who that is, but this is a really cool little pin. I love that. So I'll have some information on the screen about that. Let's see if this is anything, this little, this little guy. It is going up all the way to Ruby Sapphire. Let's do it one more time, because you know, I don't trust the Presidium on anything. It's going, oh, mm, I don't know. It's either going to Ruby Sapphire or maybe it could be a black diamond. It's going to diamond now. Oh, Presidium, Presidium, Presidium. It's a black diamond, you guys. Wow. So second blue box in a row, I got a diamond, you guys. That's exciting. Okay, let's put that with the fun things. Okay. Oh, this is a uh, trombone. My uh, younger son plays a trombone. I don't see any marks on this one. It looks like it has all of its rhinestones. So we'll say three bucks on that one. It's in great shape. Really nice. That is cool. Another one of these little balls. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty. I think everything's pretty. Another earring. Um, adjustable ring that's smushed with a penguin. I think it's supposed to be like a mood ring. A dollar. Another clippy. Another clippy. Some of these are marked. All right, we've got like an art glass. Um, and like a gun metal. I keep getting things caught on this, on a cord. <laughs> no markings on that. Just say a dollar. It's pretty. A dollar. 
Oh. Okay. These feel like they're gemstones. Somebody has attached or made their this necklace. Somebody. <laughs> um, somebody went to Virginia Beach or lives in Virginia Beach and somebody loves James. Okay. It's serious. So I don't know. Maybe you want to take the charms off of here. Um, this one, you could just detach this part. Somebody really loves James, you guys. Okay. We'll see. I think these are gemstones. Yes. So a bunch of different gemstones on here. Maybe amethyst. Yep. And like a quartz. Maybe an obsidian or something. This is cool. So you have a gemstone bracelet. We're just going to say with the charms on it and everything, three bucks. Cool. All right. This is a stone of some sort. We'll see if we get a match on that. Oh, this is, this is nice. I feel like this is Brighton. Um, I think this might be Brighton. I don't know that we got the match to this, but I think this could be a Brighton earring. What does that say? OHQ, not sure. We've got a ring. No marks on this one. Oh wait, just kidding. There's a mark. Well, this is marked 925. Well, this is marked 925, and then it's got a little, like, hallmark on the end of it. I'll have to look at it closer off camera just to see um, if I can figure out what it says. And I'm thinking this is just glass. I don't know. This doesn't feel like sterling to me, but um, wait, is there a coating over this? I'm very confused. I don't know. We'll test it. Was that blurry? Not sure. Okay. Oh, what size is it? Nine. Oh, it's a nine. Okay. Well, we'll test that and see. I don't. It doesn't really feel like sterling to me. Maybe it's got like a coating on it or something. I don't know what that is. We have lots of little beads and baubles, so I'll clean that up here in just a minute. What is this? I don't know what this went to, but it's really pretty. Um, some backs, another uh, earring here, two earrings. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. That could be something. Look at that pretty leaf right there. I don't know. That's really, that feels really nice. And is this a pen? Oh, that's cool. This is neat. This detaches. And goes back in like that. Really pretty. We'll just say two dollars on this one. I don't see any like marks or anything on this one. Nice. Almost there, you guys. We've got a silver tone toggle clasp necklace. It's like a little charm one. It's got a heart and an Eiffel Tower and a key. And we'll just say two bucks on this one. All right, we've got a, another chain that is broken. It is magnetic. All right, so I'm going to clear this off. I'm going to match up the earrings. I'll be right back. So as predicted, not a lot of matches. <laughs> Okay, um, we did get a match to this pair that has these gold tone shepherd's hooks, or at least I think they're gold tone. They look like it, but we must put the magnet on it. Yeah, they've got these little wooden balls and then this little just acrylic ball that's hanging from it. We'll just say two bucks on those. These are in great shape. It's like a little spiral hanging down. 
little twist. So if anyone is interested in the twist dangles, we'll do those for $2 as well. Those are nice. I don't see any branding or anything on them. Then we got this match, which matches that necklace. So we will say two bucks on these as well. Not a lot of bangles, you guys. A dollar for both. This is what fell on the floor. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be a ring or like what. Um, silver tone, size five, a dollar. Just wanted to point out some, and by the way, we'll do these beads, these metal beads for a dollar if anybody wants those. Um, I just wanted to point out a few things of note. We got both of these backs that are marked OHB. We did get this clip-on that is marked Japan, so I thought that was cool, but it is just a single. We got this one, which we will test for sterling that I believe is marked 925. And I would assume that this is like a rose quartz. I don't know. Stinking presidium. I don't know. I think it's rose quartz. It's going up to jadeite spinel. I can't. Okay, so we got this one. So we'll test that one for sterling. This one I'm pretty confident is Brighton, but we did not get a match to it. Um, I will do a Google Lens if I'm right. I will put it on the screen if I found out. I just thought that was of note. This one, you guys, I knew it felt nice. So I took a closer look, and this one is marked right here. And it says, KH925. So really cool. Obviously, we just got one, but we will test that one as well. It feels like it's got like some sort of plating or something over it. So um, I'm not sure if that will test 100%, but I'm going to bring out the sterling and we're going to do our testing. Okay, I scratched everything. Now, I scratched this one twice. I scratched the clasp and also this like infinity symbol so we can see if they're both sterling. This is the ring, which still feels like weird to me. So I don't know about that, but we will see what the testing acid says. Okay. Okay, so everything came back sterling except the ring, which is not shocking to me. It is, it does have some sort of like plastic coating on it. I don't know. And I don't really see any blue flakes. I think this one's a faker. It is not 925. This one, single earring, sterling. This one, single earring, sterling. This one, broken chain, sterling. This gorgeous one, Love this one. This one is sterling. So that's awesome. If anyone is interested in the beautiful sterling bracelet, let's just do this one for eight bucks. Okay. And then we have this gorgeous thing. Both the infinity and the clasp tested positive for sterling. And you know what? I'll just do this one for eight bucks as well. So you guys, we got sterling. We did get that gold filled um, brooch or pin that had a black diamond in it. We got some natural stones, some really cool cameos, and you guys, and some branded pieces. So overall, I am super happy with this box. Let me know what you guys think. And if, like I said, if there's anything you're interested, just send me an email and I can get you guys all the jewelry you want. <laughs> Have a great evening, you guys, and thanks for joining me. I will be back later this week for Thread Up Thursday. Bye, y'all.